Hi, on this session I will show you an electromagnetic experiment that I hope it will help you understand the theory behind an antenna polarization. I'm sure this video is going to blow your mind. Here we have a voltage converter. We also have an EHT power unit capable of generating up to 5000 volts. Now we're going to put the liquid insulator into the Petri dish. For safety reasons, I will disconnect the power supply so that I can safely connect the power cables. While applying negative and positive energy, I am pouring the polarizable powder into the liquid insulator. As you can see here, the energy starts to flow and the powder starts to move in both directions, forming lines between the negative and the positive poles. Here I want you to think that the negative side is the receiver and the positive side is the transmitter. The powder is the data being transmitted between both the negative and positive side. On this animation you can see how the energy flows between the two static poles. You can also see how the powder aligns when one of the poles is moving to the side and how the powder behaves when the poles are separated. Here, I want you to think that this is what happens to the data being transmitted when the receiver moves to another side. This perfectly explains the behavior of the data speed and quality when a receiver moves or goes away from the transmitter. Remember, good signal and bad signal. Interestingly enough, if I was to put the negative and the positive pole close to each other, the speed on which the powder moves will be faster, but yet it will be quickly collide each other and unable to flow freely between the magnetic field, thus causing the effect of the interference as we know it. As you saw on this experiment, we are constantly researching on how Wi-Fi behaves throughout the air as well as when it goes through objects. While antenna polarization does matter for certain types of designs and Wi-Fi connections, nowadays, and thanks to the PIFA antenna design, most of the interior access points and mobile devices such as smartphones and handheld scanners are not so dependent on the antenna polarization, but rather, they are more dependent on the strength and the quality of the signal available or near to them. Thanks for watching.